Hello, Ellie Awesome here, longtime YouTuber and TV presenter, and today I am coming at you with fairly decent lighting. Uh, right now, the sun is actually getting brighter and flooding my room with this gorgeous natural light, bouncing off this side of the room, bouncing off the ceiling. Just, I am completely well lit, and I've also got a ring light above here. Also got this baby. This is what I call pretty nice lighting, but there are actually a ton of different ways to do lighting. And I'm gonna show you how you can tweak your lighting to change the mood and make it look nice. Let's put this baby back up here. So this is my current setup. I've just got a really cheap ring light. That's like a $15 Kmart light that's super flimsy and dodgy and charged by USB power. It's apparently running into my USB port over here. We've got the Sony ZV-1 little compact vlogging camera, which is awesome. And as I said, we've got lighting over here. There's the big flooding light coming into my room. We've just got kind of like white walls here and it's looking pretty nice. But a mistake I often see people make when they're first starting out is not shooting with natural lighting. See, if I just remove my ring light again and just face it away from me, this is still pretty good lighting. But if I close my blind, like this is okay, but I'm just flat washed out. So we won't even use the ring light, super dark, but they, they usually use their room lights. So that is what it looks like when I turn on my little down lights that are quite yellow. This is kind of what I tend to see on YouTube and it's not bad. The quality's good but it could be better. I used to film at night, so that was the only time I got to film a video. But you really do have to think about what kind of lighting do I have, whether it be daytime or nighttime lighting. Let's fix this all up. So my best advice for anyone wanting to light their videos to look pro or just look good would be learn three-point lighting. I'm not gonna quite teach you three-point lighting today because in my bedroom here, I don't really have that set up, but I'm gonna show you a faux three-point lighting setup, how most people have no choice but to do it, but that is still good enough to make your video look pretty awesome. And we're even gonna add in some RGB stuff. So three-point lighting refers to three lights in three particular positions. We've got a backlight, a key light, and a fill light. In my case, with the window behind me, that is acting as my backlight. So it is actually creating this nice little glow on the back of my head here. And because it's daytime, I am actually winning at life because this is also kind of acting as my fill light. A fill light is generally placed somewhere in front of you and is really just meant to fill the room with light or fill you with light. So lucky for me, because I have such a huge window, it's basically just like a big glass door situation. It is filling the room with light. And the key light is a light that's used to create particular shadows on the face and that's also usually in front of the subject, but at a particular angle. For me right now, that is my ring light. But I'm gonna be totally honest with you, it's not doing the best job it could. This is a quick and lazy setup right now, and this light could be much more diffused and at a better angle. I'll kind of try to show you what I mean. If I can just get the thing, okay. <laughs> so here's my key light, and I just kind of have it blaring at my face, which isn't actually good practice. What filmmakers usually do is pick a side of the face they want to lighten up so that there's shadow on the other side of the face and often raise up the light to create shadows under the jawline which is just more flattering for everyone. I get a double chin so I really try to do that when I can. So this is what I kind of had it like before but now I'm going to raise it up and the side and this is kind of like a more dramatic lighting situations that a lot of YouTubers have. Often getting these like shadows on this side of the face, it makes it more dynamic. I'm more separated from the background because my whole body has all these dynamic shadows and parts to them. But if I just like turn off my key light here, I'm kind of flat. If I go down, you never want down. You never want underneath because you just get that spooky like ghost story situation. I mean, you can do that if you're going for that effect, but not for vlogging. Look, look at, this is so unflattering. <laughs> so generally, high and 
to the side. Anyway, to show you the full effect now, I'm gonna have to put this on a tripod over here to the side and up. All right, so I'm gonna just bring this over here. Still got that little bit of backlight. And now what a lot of YouTubers do is they add in some color. So I have a Lifex beam above me. I'm gonna turn that on. Whoa, it's really bright. Just gotta adjust the frame now so you can see it. I need to make my chair higher, really. I need a pillow. This short little thing. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. I even have one under the desk. There we go, we got a bit of glow. So how does that look? That's pretty nice. I'm gonna just dim this light a little bit. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is experiment with my fill light and my backlight. But hopefully if I put this down, I'll be able to make these colorful lights stand out more and still light up my face well and hopefully get a bit of a backlight actually now from this beam. I think that's pretty cool. So we've just got our simple vlogging set up here with the Sony ZV-1. I have my ring light on the side of that. Over here, I have the blind almost all the way down, my beam light. I've actually noticed that the LifeX is a bit bright on the beam. I'm gonna bring that down because it's like overexposing the background a bit. If I was being fussy right now, things I would change. Uh, this light is a bit bright still on my face. It's really bright, so I'll just turn that sideways a little. This light isn't quite being captured correctly. It's just a bit off, so I would tinker with the settings of my camera to make sure everything's exposed properly just overall. I would add color to this side of the room as well to have it balanced. Now that I've completed this lighting setup, I want to address the fact that you can, of course, film in the dark when it's nighttime. I used to do this all the time, and I achieved good lighting by either just putting a big softbox light or a ring light like so in front of my face on one side and even the other side because I had no real good feel. Like, my room lights were also yellow, and it just looked gross. So I had a white light here and a white light here, and that was how I lit myself. It wasn't dynamic, it wasn't that pretty, but it looked bright and the video quality looked good. So I went with it. And a lot of my older videos on my YouTube channel, Ellie Awesome, are shot like that. So the simple way to recreate this look when you don't have any daylight to work with would be to get a fill light. So you need three lights if possible, and you can use lamps. That one I kept showing in the background that's stupidly pointed up into the air, that's often used as a fill light too. So do research three-point lighting and grab yourself some affordable lights. And you can buy softbox kits for around $50 with two to three lights in it these days, which is really affordable and cheap. Also, look into diffusers. This is what a softbox is. It's this like light piece of material. It actually looks like this random bag I have on the ground. This kind of white material stuff that they put over lights literally diffuses the light and it makes the shadows less harsh. So to summarize, one, grab any lights you can, one to three lights. We're talking lamps or soft boxes or LEDs. Two, experiment with three point lighting. If you don't have three lights, just experiment. Research three point lighting, learn all about it and try whatever you can in your room, do what works. You may have to use your ceiling lights as the fill light. That is okay, but you'll need to just experiment with what looks good, what shadows you're getting on your face. And three, experiment with color. I've got these fancy Lifex smart lights. They're not too expensive. You can obviously get really, really cheap LED light strips, a bit more low quality, but they'll do the trick. Regardless, have fun with it. I hope you keep making awesome vlogs with Sony. If you wanna check out more of my stuff, go to youtube.com slash Awesome, and I'll see you next time.